<laughs> Here we have a coat closet. We're trying to get reorganized, get structured to go from this to. A little funny secret. Don't ever send your husband to dress your daughter. He put her outfit backwards like this. I think the doctor girl would look a little bit better. How this one? I like that color. I think it's a little bit too dark. It's gonna be great, huh? Yeah. So we decided to have the three quarter inch plywood pre-cut for us, two lamps at 18 inches high and two 25 inch width pieces for the sides. This gave us a head start to finish our project. We also purchased wrought iron pipe for our closet and had it pre-threaded on the spot. This made it quick, easy installation. Okay, so we got the, uh, the closet all set. Uh, the drop cloth has been applied down to protect the floor. We're gonna start patching up the holes that we have in the closet. Wait for those to dry about 30 minutes, and we're gonna start to paint. After I finish with the first coat of paint, I'm gonna give it time to dry. I'm gonna go out and make the rest of my cuts. Cut my plywood to the length desired, as well as my inside partitions that I want to install. Okay guys, so here you see me putting everything together. Apply wood glue to all your joints, followed up with two inch finished nails every eight inches. After the installation, we had a slight skimming of the walls to do. Next step, install the door hinges. We're going with the black hinges. I think that would accent well with what we have here. We're going to measure in 12 inches from each end, pre-drill, and uh, screw in our hinges. Let's go! obsessed with the home edit if you guys saw the before picture you guys seen that this was a hot mess and every single time my kids came in this house they would throw their things right in this closet they would not even put them up here I had a mess of hangers and everything else but I will get into that later so I just wanted to show you guys exactly what's going on in these beautiful what is it storage bin storage bin Whoop. okay so first and foremost, I'm gonna go to the left. We have the kids' laptops, but right now my kids are all doing homeschool online. All their computers at the end of the day get put in there in that bin. If they have Nintendos, PS4s, anything else that they may have, everything goes in there at the end of the day. So that's a really good way to just keep the house clean and for them not to have their electronics upstairs because we do not allow that. Mm -hmm. um, going on to the next side, this is my favorite part. This is, all board games are nicely put in here. They were in boxes, and I'm pretty sure my husband has a picture of how it looked before. They were in ba boxes and Ziploc bags that I got from CVS or from Walgreens Pharmacy, but I decided to purchase some on Amazon, and these are absolutely amazing. But let me just show you guys that they have small bags, they have bigger bags. I keep them organized, pretty organized. I have their slime things. Things that don't fit in the bags, they obviously go and stay in their boxes and stuff like that. 
but it's pretty much all set. I love this. Look how much storage there is, honestly. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely amazing from what it was before. Then on this side, we have um, backpacks. So like our beach bags, my baby's bag, because I do have a two-year-old. Mm -hmm. um, so we still carry on with diapers and wipes and, you know, just the necessities and stuff like that. And my husband's book bag, which he doesn't want to carry the baby's girl bag. <laughs> he takes his Nike bag because, God forbid, he gets seen with a bag, a baby's bag. Of the Nike. <laughs> <laughs> then these amazing hangers we got at Amazon. These hangers were so cheap i think it was like a pack of what 40 yeah 40 yeah. for like 19 dollars we got a good deal on these them. are absolutely amazing and they hold on to the obviously the coats a lot better now we have up here which i absolutely love this too this area up here i did have like storage bins up here that you can see through i did not like that because i don't want anybody to see the mess that's up here right i'm not saying it looks messy it's just i, I don't want that in this bag the kids keep their um, headphones and the chargers for their computers and they keep them also in these ziplock bags um we got the baskets from at home i think it was at home yeah at yeah. home for 15 dollars each okay. then here we just have batteries and just little small um any school necessities like staples glue everything is in here pretty much in here that yeah. they need thanks yeah. to the home edit <laughs> mm -hmm. here we have paper we have construction paper we have line paper we have some journals and stuff like that mm -hmm. so we put that up in here too this one we have always ends up being the biggest mess in our house is the crayons, markers, color pencils. Mm -hmm. But thank God, because we have this and we're pretty good with telling the kids to pick up, it has not been messy. They're still in their boxes. I wanted to copy this, um, the home edit with all those clear bins inside. For some reason, it doesn't work with my family. Mm -hmm. It works better when they're still in here. Um, maybe a, later on in the future, right, baby? Yeah. But sure. right now, nah. Long story short, this closet has been absolutely a life changer for us, our family. Again, we are a big family. So look, coming into the house and everything being organized at the end of the day, when they're finished um, their distance learning, putting the stuff away, everything has just been so absolutely amazing. So I am really excited. I absolutely love my closet. And I hope that this inspires you guys to go do it at your house.